If you watched some of my previous videos, you know that I have a thing for field watches. In the past, I talked about the Seiko SNK 800 line that brought to the watch communities a gem that even today makes people fall in love with their design and some of the watch manufacturers copy their design. But as we already have a bit of knowledge about Seiko, we know that it produces watches from affordable to luxury under different brand names, but still under the same big company umbrella. So, field watches. They are conceived to withstand the rigors of outdoor activities uh, and the demands of military use. Field watches are typically constructed from tough materials like stainless steel, titanium. Some of them have features like scratch-resistant crystals and impressive water resistance, making them reliable companions for any situation. Some people, when they hear the term of field watch, they instantly think about Rolex Explorer that has a mechanical movement and that today is still considered an overpriced watch and hard to find in Rolex dealer shops. On the other side, other people, when they hear the term of field watch, they think about Hamilton, Benrus, Seiko, or in my case for the past two months, Loris. So, one day I was surfing the internet for some newly released watches from Seiko, but from click to click I somehow ended up ordering a Loris, a field watch that has 100 meters water resistance, field style dial, made by Seiko under the logo of Loris, very powered and an astonishing price of 25 US dollars. It took me three days to receive the watch and I ordered this watch because I liked the way it looked on their website and I was curious about one thing. Being a watch that looks that good in photos and has those specifications, is it a watch that Loris, I mean Seiko, forgot to advertise its release? I don't have access to such information, but this watch led me to my personal discovery and this honest review that you are about to watch. The Lorus model RS 935DX9 is a field watch that comes encased in a 39mm package with at first sight a titanium finished stainless steel case and a field watch inspired dial for the price of $25. This first sight features make this watch not only a hidden gem in this category, but at the same time a looker. The line that this watch comes from is called Lore Sports, as stated on the dial, at the same time with an unfortunate bragging water resistance writing above the 6 o'clock, water 100 meters resist. A great feature to have on your watch for better protection against water, but not always suitable to display it that obviously on a field watch. But we all know that perfection is not possible, not even on luxury brands. The date window at 3 o'clock framed by a white printing, not a great way of displaying the date on a black dial field watch, but a useful feature for us out there that constantly forget what date it is. But overall accepting these minor flaws, this watch looks great. I love it. The dial has high contrasting white printing numerals and since military operations continue around the clock, the dial features a 24-hour track, designed to help the user in accurate communications in military time. Though this watch is not a mil-spec watch, nor that it is made for a military user, but it is inspired by the original mil-spec field watch aesthetics. Moreover, it has loomed minute, hour and seconds hands and loomed indices above each hour marker. Obviously, for this price you don't get the Super Luminova, but for sunny days followed by rapid indoor time checks, the loom holds up pretty well. It doesn't last too long, but it is bright enough for the first few minutes of darkness.
talk about the case now. At first sight, the case seems to be titanium, but uh, at first touch, the weight of the watch tells you the truth, which is stainless steel. But as we know Loris, I mean Seiko, they usually do a pretty good job sandblasting their cases to have a nice matte finish. No fancy polished surfaces here, but a nice titanium finish that can help you keep the watch in a pristine condition even being worn for a long time. I've been wearing this watch for about a month now and no scratches so far. Take a look at my Orient Curator polish case. This is the kind of damage a watch gets on my wrist. But Lorus shows no scratches at all, meaning that the sandblasting kept the case away from unwanted day-to-day -day scratches. The case features a rotating bezel that instead of being rotative, it is fixed and part of the case design. Not for timing purposes, but for fashion and a more utilitarian look. The case is made out of, as you might expect, mineral glass, which is suitable for impacts, but for scratches, making it easy scratchable. But I do not comment about this for 25 US dollars. The crown is unsigned, unscrewable, just a simple push-pull crown with a rating of 100 meters water resistance, guarded by two crown guards for better water resistance, making the crown safe from accidental pulling while underwater. In the same note, turning the watch over, a nicely Loros branded screw-down case back stays flat on the case, helping the watch keep the water resistance proudly bragging on the dial as well as the case thickness of 8.9 mm. The case thickness of the watch of under 9 mm makes the watch suitable for disappearing on your wrist and under your cuffs. Just like any other field watch, a nato strap is a strap to wear. The watch came with a two-piece 20 mm nato strap, a type of strap that I've seen before on Seiko 5 SNK 800 series. The material is nylon and if you're not pretentious, it could last two years and years. But after I took the watch out of the box, I strapped it on an Artem loopless strap. A sailcloth strap that made it great for both office days and weekends. As you might know my channel, I featured the Artem straps on most of my watches, as they can be paired with any watch style and any situation. Having quick release spring bars, I can swap the straps on most of my 20mm lug width watches and forget the fact that I'm wearing the watch, making the watch comfortable to wear, suitable for a night out, an office day, or a day at the seaside with the waterproof capabilities, both from watch and the strap. If you want to buy a strap like this, check out the description of this video for a link to Artem's website. And just as I mentioned before, this Loris features 20mm lug width, which makes customizing it quite easily with a variety of straps to find in watch shops and if you want a high quality one on Artem's website. On my 6.5 inch wrist the watch sits perfectly and due to its slimness and paired with a comfortable strap, sometimes I even forget that I'm wearing a watch. So where to find this watch? As I live in Europe I ordered it from Amazon UK. And beware that this watch comes in three different versions, one of them really hard to find because of the Lumibrite dial. My final thoughts about this watch are that if you can get one, get one now until they become visible in the watch communities and the prices go up. This Loris offers great value for the money that you pay, not the highest spec watch, but a watch that can stay on your wrist and do its job from the office days to your day at the pool or a camping adventure with the aesthetics of a military field watch. I hope I covered all its specifications with this video. If you are curious to find more about it, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and I'll be happy to reply to it. If you reached this far, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to give a like to this video. And if you want to support this channel, click the subscribe button. My name is Ed and you watched another episode of Wrist Saga.